No, nada, pues muy contento, muy contento por el, por el resultado. Este, trabajamos para esto, para ganar. Y, y nada, muy contento con todo mi equipo, mi, mi manager, mi, mi coach eh, y mis promotores que, 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 este, que se encargaron de, de que pudiera llegar a, a darse esta pelea. And I'm really happy, I'm really satisfied with how everything turned out. I want to thank my team, my coaches, everybody that made this possible. It was really the perfect night for me. Uh, we're going to start with questions, go ahead. How, congratulations. How in the world did you walk through some of those right uppercuts? Those look like shots that should have you know, knocked other fighters out. How did you do that to hold those uppercuts from the right that would have made more than one? No, bueno, realmente, pues, ni yo lo sé, tal vez por, 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 por lo mexicano, ¿no? La sangre que tenemos de, 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 de aguantar golpes, no nos gusta recibir golpes porque, pues, mejor quitárnoslo, pero, pues, eh, tenemos sangre fuerte para, para aguantarlos. To be honest with you, I don't even know. Maybe it's the Mexican blood in me, but, you know, I would rather not receive those shots, but I'm glad to know that if I do receive them, that the Mexican warrior in me is able to withstand them. Next question. Congratulations, Armando. Uh, what do you think this victory showed people that might have counted you out after you lost to Marcos Hernandez? Uh, ¿Qué sentís que esta victoria dijo sobre vos después de lo que fue tu derrota más reciente? No, bueno, yo creo que las derrotas son para aprender. Yo aprendí, eh, yo aprendí de, 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 de esa de esa derrota. Sé, sé que tal vez no estuve en mi mejor eh, momento en esa en ese combate, pero pues yo no 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 tengo pretextos. Y bueno, como, como, lo, como lo digo, ¿no? las derrotas son para, para aprender y pues esta noche demostramos que hemos aprendido algunas cosas. Uh, you know, losses are teachable moments. They are things that you can overcome and if you learn from them, then you become a better fighter. And I can safely say that after today, I applied the lessons I learned from that loss and I was able to come out with a win thanks to that. Uh, I have a question for Manny as well. Manny. Um, you said in the ring that you weren't sure that he should even take this fight. What did he show you and maybe how did he surprise you in this fight? Money well, definitely. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, so can you? Yeah. So definitely, I, I, uh, I had, but look, he's only got, he's 13 and one. He's got 14 professional fights. You know what I mean? He's a young man. What is he, 23, 24 years old versus a Jared Hurd or former world champion, uh, a, a guy that's got a, a, a a lot more experience than my guy does, so, so, than, than Resendiz does. So that was my biggest concern, the, 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 the lack of experience. And being such a young man, you know, you're not supposed to be fighting guys like this at, at 14 professional fights. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't like he had, it's not like he has a huge amateur background, he does it. He's learning on the job, you know what I mean? You know, normally fights like this you take when you're 20, 21, 22, 23, 20 fights in as a pro is when you, you know, would take a fight like this. But uh, I'm glad I was wrong. And it takes a man to admit when you're when you're wrong. And I had my, you know, I spoke to Luis Acuas, I spoke to uh, Jesse, his, his manager, and I, I told him, I said, listen, maybe this isn't the right time to take this fight. But they they, they saw something else. And I, and I told him, I, and, I, and I already explained this to, to, to Toto, by the way, uh, it takes a man to, to, to admit when you're wrong. And I said, listen, I said that I pray to God that that that, that you're right and that I'm wrong. I told Jesse and and, and Luis de Cuba with all due respect. And I'm glad I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. But the only thing I, as a trainer, what you do as a coach, what you do is you try to protect your fighter. You try to look out for your fighter. And 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 you always hope for the best, but you prepare for the worst. Because at the end of the day, if something goes wrong, no, everybody's gonna look at me. And, and, and blame me for whatever happens in the corner. So I'm here to protect my fighter inside and outside the ring. And like I said, once again, I'm glad I was wrong and they were right. Hey, man, man. Man, based, on, based on what he accomplished tonight, what do you think he's ready for next? Look, he still has a lot to learn. He, he, he knows exactly, he knows how hard I am with him in, in the gym. I'm extremely hard on him, very hard, especially particularly for this fight. Because you, you can't you can make a whole lot of mistakes with a guy like this. You know what I mean? Like again, like I said, experience. He doesn't have that experience. He's never fought a guy like this before in, in the past. 
And uh, this is the biggest fight of the biggest fight of his life, biggest opportunity. It feels a lot like winning a world title, but we're far from it. He's got a lot to learn, a lot to learn. We're, and by the way, you know, we I really believe he can make 100, 154 pounds. I really believe he's a super welterweight. Uh, two more questions, so let's go. Primero, yeah. felicidades en tu victoria. ¿En qué momento durante la pelea sentiste que ya era el momento que, que ibas a ganar la pelea? Bueno, eh, pues, eh, primero que nada, pues, fue, el, fue lo que esperábamos, una, una pelea fuerte. Sabemos que eh, Jared es todavía un peleador muy fuerte. Y, y nada, yo solo salí a hacer mi trabajo y a escuchar lo que, lo que me pedía mi esquina. Y este, pero pues más o menos por ahí como del 6 o el 5 empecé a sentir que, que mis golpes me armaban o, o él me armaba y pues... Nada, solo salía a tirar más golpes todavía. The question was, at what time did you feel like the tide was turning in your favor? And, and you know, Armando here was saying that I listened to my corner first of all, I felt strong, and then around the fifth or sixth round was when I felt that he was really showing the consequences of my punches. And I went from there and I stayed strong. Uh, one more question, uh, Rodrigo, you wanna? Anybody else? José Armando, felicidades por tu victoria. Una pregunta, como mexicano, peleando el peso mediano, ¿te imaginas una pelea contigo contra Jaime Munguía? O si no se da contra Munguía, quizás sabe que está con PBC, que viene siendo Jumar Charlo. Claro, claro que sí. Eh, pues realmente estamos aquí para, para pelear con, con quien sea. Tal vez, no sé, digo, mis promotores y todos, eh, ellos sabrán qué, qué, qué hacer, mis, mis coach. Eh, yo estoy para escucharlos y pues como, como, como lo dije en la rueda de prensa anterior, yo estoy aquí para pelear. The question from uh, Rodrigo was uh, whether Armando will consider fighting against Munguia or possibly against uh, Charlo. And Armando here said that I'm up to go against anybody. I am ready and able to fight against anybody that comes up against me. I trust my team and the decisions that they make. So I'm excited for what the future holds, really. Uh, Armando, eh, bueno, un mensaje final, algo que le quiera decir a la gente, un mensaje para México. Claro, sí, eh, agradecer a todo mi público mexicano que me estuvo apoyando, a toda mi familia, eh, agradecer a mis patrocinadores también que han sido parte de, fundamental de mi carrera para yo poder lograr mis sueños. Estamos eh, en, el, en el camino. Eh, muchas gracias a, realmente a mis padres, mis padres que, que me apoyan muchísimo. Agradecer mucho eh, a, mi, a mi manager Jesse Rodríguez, a mi coach Manny Robles, que me regañan todo el tiempo <risa> para, para que hagan las cosas bien pero pues es, es para, para mejorar y para, para hacerlo cada vez mejor eh, y, y este, pues dar el mensaje de que realmente eh, yo solo soy un instrumento de Dios también para, para pues hacerle saber que, que con Él todo se puede y, y también mandar un saludo y un beso a mi novia que está eh, viendo la transmisión seguro que sí y, y nada mucho, mucho, mucho cariño, mucho amor para todos. I want to thank so many people. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my parents. Uh, without them, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank my trainer, Manny Robles. He, you know, he was on me all the time, and I improved thanks to him. I want to thank also my man my manager and everybody that that was there to help me along the way. I want to thank the Mexican people for their support. And more than anything, I want to send a big hug and a kiss to my girlfriend. I love you, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 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 Th